All right, Coder, uh, we're just going to go over a quick import so everybody kind of knows how to import. I've got a few clients that are trying to import new listings um, into their either custom directory or regular directory or any type of directory. Um, so let's just jump right into it. You will need WP all import. In the case of Listing Pro, you're going to need the, the Listing Pro add-on for the bulk import, which comes with your basic download. Um, in this case, this is a custom directory, so we need um, WP all import Pro. Uh, to get those custom fields. Keep in mind I've created these custom fields. We're looking at um, some things like uh, title, description, um, I've got some taxonomies over here for category, featured image, um, and then you can see the rest. These are all our custom fields, Facebook, Instagram, uh, logo, whoops, um, street address, and so on. So let's go back to the dashboard. I'll make this really quick and painless. All import upload a file you're gonna find your CSV file that you have created um, in this case I'm gonna use just one of these it's gonna upload it's gonna make sure that the data it's receiving is correct it's gonna say hey where do you want to import these at your screen may be a little bit different on what you select mine is listings so I'm going to scroll down until I see listings and I'm going to go ahead and continue to step two. From there, it's going to pull open your file, let you know if it looks good. Um, you know, it, it, usually I, I don't even look at the screen. I'm just like, yeah, this is this is the way my first uh, data field is. Um, so I just continue to step three. I have 3,300 records, almost 3,400. All right, perfect. So this screen comes up. And in this case, you're going to drag and drop your elements from the right to the left. This isn't saying, hey, just the first one, but if I take company name and I select it, so you see this is the company name. I don't care if it says column A, column one, you can do it in any format. Like it, it doesn't matter what it's called, but notice how it's put my company. This is the column, so I'm gonna click column name and I'm just gonna put that is the company name. So that should go there. Uh, my description doesn't look like we have a description so I'm gonna skip over that when I get down to images images says hey you want to download them elsewhere yes I do want to download images if I have them um, and I would drag that in here so if I have a field with image uh, which I don't in this case um, but this is a link right so you see this map link here this is a link if that was an image I could simply drag that in here and that would be my images being downloaded to my server um, but I'm gonna skip over that because we currently don't have that in this um, in this example custom fields this is gonna be perfect so custom fields if you're using a custom directory if you're using the listing pro add-on because you're using listing pro then all your fields should be in here but if you're building a custom directory then your custom fields is gonna be a big one so custom fields I like to click this button here, which is going to see the detected fields that we have. And then I'll go down that and erase everything that's in here. It's just giving me an example of one that has this information. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all these. Because I don't want it to be, you know, my spam email every single listing. So I'd remove that. I'm removing all these. Just backspacing, by the way. All right, perfect. In order, if I've created your site, this is your order by number. We're just going to select that value to zero. You might not have that. Are they verified? Could be false, or you could just not put anything and it won't do anything. But in this case, I'm going to write false. Tagline. Do we have a tagline? No. Do I have a street address? Uh, I do have a street address. It's right here. Location. Um, I think in this case, we are doing the city. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put city here and see I'm just clicking and dragging gallery I don't have an image gallery here website um, here's a website here I'll drag that here do they have a video no oh they do have an email so let's put the email here uh, I'm going to ignore hash latitude longitude Facebook so they have Facebook and again you'll just simply go through the process of 
adding whatever your fields are here over to the left. I like to go down this list and start at the top. So I do company name, then I would have done address, then I would have done city. Uh, zip postal code is not in there because it's in the full address. Telephone number, and bam, I just come down here. That way I don't miss anything from my list I'm trying to move it over. Um, when I get down to and I fill out all my information that I have, Keep in mind, a lot of times you might not have all the information that's here, um, but again, it's a basic scrape listing. Shouldn't shouldn't fill out all the fields anyways. Um, taxonomies is everything on the right of WordPress, like your categories, um, you know, features, things like that with Listing Pro, anything you create with a custom directory. So I'm going to go ahead and open up taxonomies, and I notice I just have category in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, here's where it gets fun. Um, you can select multiple things. If, it, you, if your list only has one category for each, which in this case, um, it's called um, type in, in just this case, um, I just drag that over. If you have something separated by commas or you have multiple categories in your list, um, you can just select the option. Like you can say, hey, no, each has multiple categories and um, you would you would drag in your field and then what are they separated by usually a comma in list so if you have like you know um, uh, arts and crafts restaurants and they're all separated by a comma if they're separated by something else just make sure you dedicate that that symbol here now if you have a hierarchy let's just say you have you know it's a uh, restaurants but then inside of restaurants it has um, uh, barbecue or no I'm sorry um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you know, types of food, and then it says seafood. So if you have a hierarchy setting, this is what you'd click here. Um, in this case, I don't, but you could be like, hey, I want to, I want to either, it, yeah, it's already set up like that. Like I have um, restaurants, comma, uh, uh, American food. Um, then in that case, you would say, hey, you know, I want to design that, and it's all separated by a whatever, it's comma. Um, there's another one here that says you can manually design it if you have two categories let's just say you know one category was here but I also have something like this so it's concrete contractor followed by masonry contractor I can build that hierarchy as well and uh, remember when we import it'll do just that um, other than that uh, what I like to do is once I get that in there I definitely want to save it as a template so make sure all your fields are filled out um, come down to load template, uh, I'm sorry, save template. I'm just going to call mine temp01. doesn't matter what it's called, but that way I can go back in. If I have the same file settings, like it's always company name, uh, then I can just use this template. I also like to do that for testing. Uh, that way if I mess up or if I do something wrong, I already have this stuff filled out. Like I, I don't have to go through and drag and drop again. I'm going to go ahead and continue to step four. And in step four, um, we need a unique identifier. Now I learned this a little bit ago that you don't just want to use the company name. I'll give you a perfect example. If I say um, in a case where I'm doing like a restaurant directory or actually a, um, a construction directory and I put Lowe's or Home Depot, there's a bunch of things or businesses here in the United States that are, that are Home Depot. It's a franchise. So um, putting the name, what's going to happen is um, if you get another name that's similar to it it's going to consider it a duplicate so i don't just do the name of the business i like to do name dash address maybe dash phone number because what i'm trying to do is it's not a duplicate now in some cases so hopefully that helps it's like a name address and telephone as it's a unique identifier this is going to be used on your site it's just going to be for duplicates so if it comes into uh, let's say it gets to 1500 listings and all of a sudden it's got the same name address and telephone number it's going to consider it a duplicate so if your scraping person or yourself hasn't already checked and removed your duplicates this will help you out with removing those duplicates the only problem is going to come to a time where a franchise company uses the same <laughs> um, name, telephone number, and address, but then multiple different locations. Yes, I could have went through and done like the search location or put the city in there as well, but you know, this just goes a little too far for me. Um, don't click auto detect.